Get below the water line if I can. Let me hit the trooper structure here. You know, it's, 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 it, you're not going to sink it right off it's, it's as fast, so I want to sink it as fast as I can. Alright, hello everybody. So my name's Dendris and we're going to be getting into U-Boat. Um, I'll be starting a, a new game, uh, starting from scratch. And so, a little introduction, I'm an ex-submariner. Um, I, I qualified in submarines, or I qualified on a submarine. Um, I, uh, was on, uh, submarines for, for a total of five years, um, and, uh, my brother was on a, was a, a submariner, and my dad was a submariner, which is, Kind of our little family history there, I guess. Um, so uh, I'll give you some some little history of of, of my experiences, and uh, as we go through this game, and maybe some insights into uh, uh, the submarine life. Um, I don't know if you can tell. This is my first stream, um, and uh, I did write some notes to make sure that I tried to stay on track and and uh, make sure that it's a, a quality product here. So, first things first, we're going to go through to a new game. Uh, I like to do the the war begins. Um, realism and simulation aspects will be fine too to make them challenging and balanced. Uh, hardcore. Well, okay. You know what? I think just because I want to be able to do some things, uh, I, uh, I don't know if I want to have it hardcore for this. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll go ahead and do balanced. Let's see here. Let's try expert. Crew requires some attention or whatever to do this. Sure. Let's see what that is. All right. German. Save mode of normal. Don't need to do the tutorial. Well, hmm. yeah, we don't need the tutorial. Okay. Gameplay perspective. Be normal. Sometimes it's nice to be able to look at this up from third person perspective. AI difficulty. I played on medium, it's not really that hard. I could have to do yeah, medium. Okay, expanded sealer management, sure. Morale management difficulty. It's a whiny little. Okay, hardcore aim. Sure. 
why not? Units metric uh, number two box. Sure, food management. Yeah, mission completion. Collision damage and to revise. Realistic. I don't need the detection hint. Um, some people use it, but uh, don't really need it. Realistic build, sure. Realistic earth creature, yeah, darker nights. Well, I usually run with darker nights, but for streaming, it just makes it really difficult. Uh, that I know of to to see uh, what we're aiming at during night. Night, times, okay. night attacks. Okay, damage difficulty. Honestly, you know, I, I've played it enough to know that that damage I don't know it just seems a little bit uh, too easy to damage the boat I mean you know you have to get in pretty close with a with a depth charge to you, you'll shake up the boat but to get actual damage it's got to be really close uh, let's see here disable torpedo solution We'll specify if torpedoes how well people should be on the map. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. All right, the port of Wilhelmshaven. Wilhelmshaven. Friday, September first, nineteen thirty-nine. All right. Okay, so here we are on our boat. Notice we call it a boat, not a ship. All right. So they want us to go there. All right, so here we are at the docks. Um, I don't see uh, a watch on the on the deck there. That's that's interesting. So, anyways, enough of that. So here we go. We're on our boat. Uh, I don't want to talk to them, but I'm. Quick, climb up. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go down this chair. Now, I don't know why he's manning that uh, station there because we're not moving. Okay, so here we are in submarine, and 
Honestly, this is very small to me. I'm not used to the submarine being this small because the one I was on, the one I qualified on, had five decks. And this one looks like it just has one deck. All right, and so part of qualifying on submarines, you learn about all the different equipment. Um, what it's for, what it does, um, how it works. You learn uh, your job, which for me was sonar. And this was the sonar room. Now, our sonar room was a little bit bigger than this. Um, you learn about uh, you learn about all the different parts. You okay. And uh, so, you know, you learn about all the different equipment and you practice, you know, with, with different things. Um, Well, anyways, okay, so here are basically the, the steering for the boat, the dive planes, you know, the planes. Basically, that's how you maneuver the boat. Uh, you have a rudder position, I think the rudder position is up there, and then here are your dive planes. Right, you have your your gauges, your depth gauges. Here's uh, probably for for the first 25 meters. Right, there. That's your uh, so port and starboard motors. Port red, starboard green. The way I remember it is uh, port is is a smaller word than starboard, and red is a smaller word than green. So port red, starboard green. Uh, this is looks like your. Rotations, or actually, could be uh, well, it could be electric motor. Okay, so not rotations. Maybe uh, that's how fast your your your, uh, your propeller is turning. I think, right? There's another depth gauge here. These shows the angle of your of your bow planes, or or your right in the stern planes. Here's your Christmas tree, or what we call the Christmas, well, this Christmas tree, but these are your lights, which kind of shows you, these are your, uh, for flooding the tanks. Oh, eins geladen. So you flood your tanks, you know, your ballast tanks, all right, fill them up. That's so you can dive. Okay, here is the navigator station. All right. Um, okay, map. You can see navigation there. So, looks like they got some food, potatoes, or something under there. Here's your uh, your 
Echo Sounder, right? Wir sind schon uh, so lange auf See. Long. That ich shows, uh, nicht mehr aus. How far okay. This shows so this Echo Sounder tells you how deep it is below underneath you. Uh, here is your bilge pump. Uh, all compartments are dry. So, and now those looks like generators of some kind, alternating. I don't know what they are. Some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, generators. I don't know what that is. Big stack of meat there. All right. Okay. So the doors that they have. Um, these Wir are sind schon so lange auf See. Ich halte es nicht mehr aus. These doors, uh, watertight doors here. All right. Here's the aft head we call it the, the head right the aft head okay, storage room okay cook station this is what my dad did he was a cook he joined some the navy when he was 17 back in the day back before you had to yeah, uh, back before you needed a high school diploma. All right, so the engine room. All right, we have ventilation here. Okay, you have your port starboard engines, diesel engines. What I should do is get get a little history about these. But all right. Okay, you can kind of see inside them a little bit there, huh? Looks like they kind of have a little cutaway. All right, here's the aft torpedo room, or the auxiliary room, also, looks like. Your electric motor stations. All right. The port and starboard. Here's your machinist deck there. You've okay, your air compressor. So this is a diesel air compressor. Looks like uh, I don't know what you call that? Sonar decoys. This must be for launching your sonar decoys. Huh? This is your. Uh, electric air compressor runs on battery power electricity okay and your tor aft torpedo tube of course modern submarines mo a lot of modern submarines i don't know about all of them but we don't have an aft aft torpedo tubes okay um Watertight doors, okay. Captain's bunk, radio room, okay. Officer's quarters, okay, for, for officers. Okay, here's your officer's head, or a forward head here, uh, for your electric, for your uh, fuse boxes for your electricals. Okay, and this is the forward torpedo room. Okay, so I think we know where everything is on this ship. I think we need to uh, go talk to somebody here, huh? No, come on. There we go. Hmm. 
Nobody announced that the captain was on board, huh? Okay. Okay, that must be the loading hatch. Let's see here, maybe. Loading torpedo load. Loading hatches there. 88 millimeter deck gun. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Schau mal. All right, go talk to the supply people here. Uh, get some food. Oh, I got. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? We don't have a lot, do we? Let's get some bread. It's always nice. Uh, submariners, we, we eat good. Come on, get the five there. You can never have enough replacement parts. Right. Mission. Torpedoes. Definitely need some torpedoes here, huh? So we have the uh, T2 electric. Travel electric is 56. Anyone steams faster. Okay. Fuel. We need to refuel. Let's get some more of these here. More food. Definitely more food here. Make sure we have enough food for everybody. So, if I see an airplane, I'm going to dive if I can. So I don't think I need too many uh, for the flat guns. But, uh, definitely want to use a deck gun if I can. Don't have to waste a torpedo if I don't have to. Okay. So there we go. here. I'm going to take a look at my crew because usually, well, I don't know about usually, but so when you're uh, when you're on the submarine, you, 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 you actually run eight hour shifts, right? So you're eight hours on watch. You have eight hours of of Basically, you're on call, I guess you call it, but you're basically you're either cleaning or you're doing maintenance or doing whatever. Maybe you're playing cards, right? And so, let's see here. So 
So if I'm the captain, I think I'll be the morning. Afternoon watch. And the radio guy, he's going to have to be, because we only have one radio man, he's going to have to be 12 hour shift. And, and these guys are going to be, so we're going to have to be 12 hour shifts here, it looks like. Okay. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Really? This is our first patrol. Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. So we're going to do the Streng tutorial gehalten. because uh, I like to get those extra points before uh, before we get too far here. We don't need that training, diving, torpedo attack. ahead and do that. Okay. So another U-boat reported spotting a few freighters headed at square AN-49 a few hours ago. The U-boat was coming back from a mine laying assignment and wasn't armed to attack the ships at the time. Okay. I marked the spot where we expect those freighters to be in the near future. Please right click on the marked point to set a course there. Okay. Course auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Everything's ready. Now we must induct the report to do that. Click the island button, select the third engine going forward. Yeah. You know what? The standard. Uh, oh, we'll go ahead and click that. But I don't think I feel very comfortable going that fast in the port. slower here. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Okay. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Leaving port, leaving the docks, heading out to sea. Now, for the captain, you you know, uh, we would have if, if you're the officer on deck, you're gonna you're gonna set the maneuvering watch, and so you're gonna have somebody on the periscopes. Sonar operator on the echo sounder, the you know, the, making sure that uh, you're not going to hit something underneath you, and you're going to have periscopes up, both periscopes looking around, making sure you're not going to hit something. You're going to be working with the navigator, making sure that uh, you're following the correct path. And you'll have someone up above there, you know, giving orders. Uh, if, the officer, if the officer on deck is there, he's, he's going to be telling people, all right, you know, what direction to go, what speed, right? So. But uh, in any case, let's speed this up a little bit, huh? All right, so we're out of port. We're in the uh, North Sea here, and we're heading to our uh, training area where we're free. Uh, another U-boat spotted some freighters, and it just flipped over tonight. 
And so I'm going to switch to red lighting. The reason we switch to red lighting is because uh, your eyes uh, need to adjust to see it at, at nighttime. And uh, if it's bright and then you go out into the dark, your eyes take longer to adjust. But if you have your red lights, if you uh, when you go out, it, your eyes will adjust a lot faster to, to the darkness. Let's see. Have a somebody there. Yeah. Gonna have somebody. Stick with those guys. Okay. All right, so I'm going to close the hatch because it's, uh, I don't want a lot of water to go in um, down the hatch. Now, Here on the surface, you might have the hatch open so you can maybe communicate down there. Uh, probably should have a speaking tube. I think that's a speaking tube there, possibly. Normally, if you're on the surface, you're going to have periscopes up. Somebody's going to be manning the periscope. If you're on the surface, use use what you got to, to make sure you can, you can see a lot farther with the periscope than with the binoculars. mission, right, from the officer of the deck, you don't just go up there whenever you want. All right, looks like everything is going well so far. The is dry. Looks like dinner's on the menu there. So another reason uh, 
well, you know, I, I, I like to stay uh, um, at, at this speed, uh, saves on fuel. All right, you, you, you don't need to run there, especially for this. Now, if you were chasing down a, a convoy, you, you might have to increase your speed. Go on. Go up. It's a beautiful day out there, huh? It was a beautiful day. It's evening now. All right. So we're approaching our target. Okay, so prepare to dive, rig for dive, dive, dive. I'll see what you begin. Periscope depth. Periscope depth, aye, sir. Make your depth two zero meters. Make our depth two zero meters high, sir. Okay. All right, prepare to surface. Surface the boat. Tanks anblasen. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor! Bestätigt! 
bestätigt. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Jawohl. Now, I was underwater. I was going slower, so it's going to want me to. Uh, it's going to try to set a plot an intercept course. I'm going to go Kurs ahead and set Bogen one here. Setzen. Zu Befehl. And uh, see where I can go here. And speed it up so I can intercept the freighter. Maybe. There it is. We're in a good position. ready to attack. You're, you're not going to be, uh, officers aren't going to be sleeping. You know, you're, you're the captain. You're, you're probably not going to be sleeping if you're this close to, uh, Herr Kaloy? Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. All right, so it looks like to be a British merchant. Okay, going to calculate So when you're setting up your tax, uh, the best position you want to be in is 90 degrees, or as close to 90 degrees as you can get. Um, it's the easiest solution that you can make. Um, it's it just makes things a lot less complicated. Um, you want to be fairly close if you can, you know, you at night you, you might be able to get closer. Um, but if you can get within a nautical mile, uh, you're you're doing good. Um, now, during the daylight, obviously, he's he might be able to see you. Uh, so you might want to submerge if, if that's what uh, if you want to make things easier for yourself um, to get in position. Um, of normally that's what I would do, uh, but 
I think uh, let's see here. All right. And one thing here is these guys should have been working on warming up the torpedoes. You want to keep them warmed up because uh, you uh, have a lower risk of duds. All right. just yet, but okay. okay. One. Two. Okay. Um, three torpedoes. That's really overkill. Rohr 2 fertig. Rohr 3 bewässert. Rohr 4 fertig. It's gonna pass it, isn't it? Really? Don't need to. Los! I'm going to go to torpedo depth because. Or <laughs> I'm going to go to periscope depth. Because as soon as, uh, as soon as he sees me, he's going to, he's going to be, he's going to mess up my solution. Or his solution. This kind of angle, just. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 30 Sekunden. Zwanzig Sekunden. That's a pretty steep angle. Zehn Sekunden bis Einschlag. All right, so anytime you, uh, if you're going to, uh, from any depth, periscope depth, whatever, if you're under the water, you want to have your periscopes up as soon as you reach periscope depth. Before you go to the surface, make sure you know what's all around you, right? You search, right? You're looking at the sky, you're looking around on the surface of the water, you're looking everywhere you can, making sure you're safe. Sonar is doing a sweep sure there's nothing around and then you surface the boat you wouldn't just you just wouldn't go directly from submerged to surface without making sure it's you, you have a safe uh, safe surfacing okay okay
All right, we see our second ship. We're going to go over and uh, see what it is. Second okay, ship. All right. Rig for battle stations. Torpedo ausrichten. Kurs setzen. Okay. Looks like it's just sitting there. Yeah, I, you know, I would be, yeah. I, I don't know if I would be just going to the surface, going right for it, because it could be armed, and guess what, um, I would not, don't want to get in a, in a gunfight with the, with any surface ship. We're ambush predators. We're, we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to uh, wait to attack and and make sure it's safe. Down a little bit, might make it a little bit easier to target. Okay. Guess what? I'm going to do it manually. Get it below the water line if I can. You can hit the trooper structure here. You know, it's, 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 it, you're not going to sink it right off it's, it's as fast. So I want to sink it as fast as I can. Ends our training for torpedo and gun. Um, I think what we have to do is we have to go back to port. So we're going to go back to port. Legen Sie den Kurs an. And uh, see what they say. Hello. Secure from battle stations. Alright, let's start the diesel compressor. Let's head on home. I know we can get... I know we can get some of the guys, uh, prisoners. It's time to head home. 
So. I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, first broadcast. Um, I promise I will try to uh, do better. Maybe give some more information, maybe some history. Talk about uh, uh, standard operating procedures on the submarine. Kind of give you guys some insight into uh, submarine life. But thank you so much for for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.